Pierce. Follow my boy, it's gonna be TDI. So he just got done doing what's called the every mod, which is a deal where you're, you're basically you're hooking up like bypass with with some potentiometers and a toggle switch. He really wanted to show me, hit me up. I jumped over here real quick. We're checking it out right now. doing in here to to make all this magic happen so i've got a 5k potentiometer it's actually for a guitar okay um you got to find the sweet spot which you can hear it's kind of running lumpy now the glow plug light flashes because it's angry but it starts making boost just sitting there oh yeah it's dumping fuel in like crazy right now Dang. out at what 18 something like that oh wow <laughs> sure sure that was cool it's night and day difference like it's only what did that one video i watched it was supposed to be a 20 to 30 horsepower gain but when you make 90 from the factory, that's a 30% horsepower increase. Oh, it's very noticeable. I mean, the Miata only makes 90 from the factory too, so I, I know exactly what you're talking about there. Any amount of horsepower you add is extremely noticeable. The minute you get on it, the whole front end comes up. You gotta think though, this is $5 for the eBay parts, where some people pay thousands of dollars for 30 horsepower. I paid five bucks. <laughs> That is true. Shitbox life. <laughs> the old cloud smoke. I'm try and break this thing. How good your e-brake? Not. Not. <laughs> Not. In existent. It holds one. It tries to hold one wheel. Also looked up to you right now. This sounds like a regular gasoline car. <laughs> like that's a trip. That don't sound like a diesel at all. Not anymore. No. Just that chew. The, the way the uh, turbo. Probably because there's no blow off valve. No yeah, no, gate, no way no it's got little veins in there. It's easier for me to just have you Google it than try to explain, but it, that's how it controls the amount of boost you get. Now we're at the racetrack. Oh. Two tire fired. Angry little Jenna. <laughs> it's pretty 
There you go let me know what you guys think of it i think it's pretty awesome first volkswagen i've ever actually liked very cool man very cool anything you want to tell the peoples buy one buy one <laughs> that's crazy and then by friday the new nozzle should be here so next tuesday wednesday i'll put them in and we'll see how it responds with the every mod and uh 40 horse there they're 520s, so it should be, according to the manufacturer's website, 40 horsepower more. Wow. Pretty quick, from my understanding, in, a, in one a couple of the tuning pages I read, we're going to start pushing the limits of the clutch pretty quick here. Yeah. They're not meant to for more, over, more than 130, I think it is. I'm surprised the stock clutch rated it that much. We'll see. It's got tor it's, well, it's torque, so... Now, when we're talking about how, horsepower, are we talking about crank, or are we talking about yeah, the wheel? crank. Okay. I doubt it makes 130 wheel. But, but I can't imagine it sapping very much out of it. Not in first, for sure. Well, especially with front wheel drive like that. I mean, you're, you know, everything's right up here. And now that we know that it's two tire as well, it's not like you're just sending all that power to one. So you, you will have a little bit of powertrain loss there. But... Very cool. You're seeing he's going to have it lifted too. That'll be neat. Won't be able to break, break him loose in second, I bet then. <laughs> oh yeah, when you, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It really depends because you know we were talking about the torque multiplier, and you were saying that you know under unlike like a Cummins where if you basically it's like two foot pounds for every one horsepower. This one here it's a what about thirty percent torque gain? Say, yeah, they well if you do a stage one tune through Jeff Stevenson, which is a, a tuner out of Canada, mm -hmm. the stage one is thirty five horsepower, and I think it's forty five foot pounds of torque. Okay. So that would put you at about 120 horse and uh, 180, 190 foot pounds of torque, something like that. I think that'd be more than enough to spin the big, the bigger wheels. Oh yeah. Definitely. It's sure if I do the tune, but every mod probably not. No. Every mod's not so refined. It's just you want all the. Kind of like now. an FMU, basically. Yeah. It's just basically dumping a crap yeah, ton of yeah. fuel in there. Yeah. And... Yeah, you jump two and three wires. I use scotch locks because I'm a scumbag instead of doing normal wiring. <laughs> and then uh, you have the 5K or 1K potentiometer, doesn't matter, you can do either or. And just, you gotta find that sweet spot, it'll start to hear that lumpy or lopey tune, lope tune. That's where you know you found it. Any further and it just, the computer freaks out and kills the engine, shuts it off. But Interesting. It's supposed, be, it's supposed to be very hard on fuel pumps, but. We'll find out. And then we were talking about that could be solved by putting like basically a lift pump in there. Yeah. Right? Or or were we talking about an inline? Because is the one in there right now good enough to move the volume? There's not one in there from my understanding. That fuel pump up front does all of is it. Oh, the mechanical pump is pulled. That's right. Okay, so we were talking about if we stuck one in line somewhere. If we put a, a just, lift pump of some yeah, sorts to feed yep. tons of fuel. The high volume, be. low pressure pump. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And do you know what pump you could do that with yet? I haven't even looked. All right. So. All right. Now we got a mission. We got something to figure out. All right, everybody, throw it down in the comments. Let me know what you think of Scummy's TDI. Again, you follow him at Scummy TDI. I'll throw it down in the annotations there. And thanks for the ride, bro. Appreciate it.